good morning welcome or welcome back to sustainable sierra youtube if it's your first time visiting me here hi welcome my name is sierra and i'm an american who lives in england every week i make a video about my family's life here or whatever it is we have to be doing on the weekly in today's video as you guys can tell by the title of the video we're doing a lush subscription unboxing for august 2023 i'm very excited about that it smells incredible actually as soon as the postman brought it to the house and i opened the front door i could smell the package and the smell of mint or wafting so i'm guessing the mint theme that was in the boat actually ended up going through which is very exciting but before we get started with the unboxing i just want to say that today is a really yucky and nasty rainy day here in yorkshire and i've been trying to wait out the rain to stop the pelting sounds from the window but it is just coming down and not stopping so i figured i would just film the video now so i could edit it for you guys and get it up as soon as i can so anyways if you guys can hear the rain that's what's going on also a little man who's my son is actually sitting literally right underneath where i am right now watching a show on disney plus so if you hear kid shows in the background that's what it is so if you guys have been around for a while you guys know that it is no secret that i love mint in all of my products well not all of my products but i love products with mint specifically peppermint so when i saw the mint theme in the vote i was super excited and no matter what the products were i was probably going to buy the box so I voted for the ones I liked and now things are here. So when we open up the box, I already took the little instruction guide out so I couldn't look at it too much. Um, but there is a cute little card um, and it says time for some amazement. And then it has a QR code with um, information you can look at it. I think it's about the sourcing of the mint. Anyway, let's unbox this guy. First part from the box appears to be very pretty. I don't know what it is, but it looks like this. And I think it is, well, it is melting all over my fingers. So I'm guessing it's either a buttercream or a scrub. It is the Dirty Naked Body Scrub. I don't actually think Lush has ever come up with a naked body scrub or even a dirty body scrub. So this is really exciting, but I'm gonna show it to you guys really closely. I'm gonna put it down because it is really melting all over my fingers. But Dirty is, as I said before, a scent family that comes out usually around, originally for Father's Day, or a lot of products for Father's Day come out in the Dirty scent because it is peppermint and I think it is cypress, but we're gonna check for just a second. I was totally wrong, sorry. It is spearmint oil, tarragon oil, sandalwood oil, lavender absolute neroli oil and lime absolute with menthol crystals so lots and lots of mint and lots of like woodsy um like earthy type scents in there which is why it's kind of like a father's day not really a men's fragrance nothing's really for men or women at lush but typically a lot of like the father's day range comes out in this scent because it's like that woodsy smell that in general a lot of like cis men like does that make sense but it smells really good I'm a pretty big fan of the Dirty Scent, so I'm gonna love this, but someone who's gonna love this even more is Mr. because he loves Dirty Shower Gel. Um, I think he has just a little teeny tiny sliver of the salad left that came out years ago, and he really loves different kinds of scrubs and things anyway, so he's gonna love that. Next item out of the box is a bath bomb, and it is the World Peace Bath Bomb, which looks like this. World Peace Bath Bomb is not a product that I have tried before, but I'm guessing, of course, it's gonna be very minty and earthy since it's called the World Peace Bath Bomb. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually supposed to look like the real world. Um, it's hard to do with a bath bomb, but I think that if you look at it just right, this kind of looks like Australia, if you like twist it and shake it. But anyways, let's give it a smell. Ooh, that smells incredible. I don't even know what this smells like, other than a really, really good. So let's look out the ingredient list because, wow, whatever this is, big fan. It is scented with cypress oil and peppermint oil. Of course it has peppermint in it. Pine oil, tangerine oil, gardena extract, and that's it. This is one of the more complex fragrances I feel like I've smelled from Lush in a while. Because it does have like that mint on it. Now I have bath on my nose and I probably will for the rest of the video. Is it off? I hope so. You guys can tell me in the comment section. Anyways, um, this is a really interesting scent from Lush because it has a lot of different like kind of levels of scent to it and I think it's really interesting. So like as I said before, the peppermint oil of course is there and then the two different types of um, evergreen oils which are great. And then I feel like that tangerine oil in there just kind of floats around is just like really unexpected which is just really cool and exciting. So um, this might have be actually a new favorite. All right, moving on to the next item is a bubble bar of sorts and it is the i think it's the mellow mint bubble bar mellow mint bu bubble bar is a lush retro product which i've never actually been able to try as a lushy back when the kitchen was the original kitchen when they had a menu every week and a different item was released every day i remember seeing it a few times but i never tried it so let's give it a little smell and see what it smells like that's very interesting it definitely looks like a watermelon and so like the scent it's like throwing me off because I feel like it's supposed to smell like a watermelon but it doesn't smell like a watermelon it smells I think it's 
some kind of evergreen and mint so let's check out the ingredients list but like the the shape is really cool but it's like throwing my off you know what i mean so okay the scents in this one are peppermint oil and cypress oil and spearmint oil okay that's really interesting I don't know, maybe it's not supposed to look like a melon, but it is called Mellow Mint, so I'm guessing it's supposed to look like a watermelon, but... Okay, interesting. Um, not really sure if I'm going to like this in the bath. I mean, I do like the smell of it, actually, but it's just, like, a really weird combination. As I said, it's playing with my brain, so... I'm excited to give this a try, and I think Little Man is going to love it when he sees it, because he loves watermelon, anything. He probably will even say it smells like watermelon, even though it doesn't. But anyways, I digress, and so on to the next item is... Ooh, it's a shower gel, and it is the Freeze Shower Gel. Awesome. Wait a second. Is this the same as the shampoo that came out a couple of years ago in the kitchen? No, I don't think so. It's similar, at least in look. I think that was actually the Ice Blue shampoo which I don't know if it's going to be the same scent or not, but anyways, it's a beautiful blue shower gel, and we're going to open it up and give it a smell. I know it's going to be very minty because it's called Freeze. I wonder how similar it's going to be to Intergalactic. I don't know, but let's give it a smell. Well, first I'll show it to you. It's very, very liquidy, which is fine. Not what I was expecting. I mean, it definitely has, like, some mint in it, but I don't know. I feel like it, it has a little bit of a lighter scent than I was expecting. You know what I mean? Usually you love shower gels when you open them up. The smell is like pow right in your face. But this one is very subtle, which is great. But it also might be one of those ones, as I've previously mentioned in other videos, that the smell really comes out once it hits the water. But anyways, the ingredients in this one are fresh seawater. Interesting. Okay. I actually do kind of smell the seawater. That's really interesting. I've never seen seawater in a product before. I guess they sterilize it. I don't know. But anyways, it also has aloe vera gel. Fine sea salt, peppermint oil, bergamot oil, sweet wild orange oil, and just other things that are usually in shower gels. I probably won't have a chance to try this out before I edit this video, but if I do, I will let you guys know what I think of it down in the description. Um, but yeah, very interesting. Excited to try that. I love a good minty shower gel. All right. And then the last item in the box, which is very sad, and it is a soap. And it looks like this, and it is the Ice Blue Soap. I got an end piece, um, which I love the end pieces because I feel like they're just prettier than the other pieces. Ice Blue Soap looks like this, and it really does kind of look like um, there's little icebergs floating in the ocean, which is really pretty. It's going to look beautiful, like, in the bathroom. Um, actually, it's a little beautiful in my son's bathroom because his bathroom is fish and finding Nemo theme loosely, so it'll look really pretty. I'll just have to go in there and wash my hands with it. But Ice Blue Soap is probably going to share the same scent family as the Ice Blue Shampoo that came out, as I mentioned previously. I really love that shampoo. The shampoo was incredible. I love the scent, especially for my headaches and stuff, so this will be really nice, like, on the days where I have a headache or just, you know, on any day. But I'm going to give it a smell. Ooh. Smells a little bit different to me than the shampoo. However, I do know that sometimes the same scent will smell different in different forms in Lush, even though it's the same scent. So um, either way, I'm really excited to give it a try. And officially, the ingredients in Ice Blue are... Let's see. It's actually melting on my fingers, so I'm going to set it down. But it has wrap seed and coconut oil in it, which is why it's melting. It also has um, actually two kinds of coconut oil, but it also has two kinds of sea salt. <laughs> coarse sea salt and fine sea salt, peppermint oil, bergamot oil, and sweet wild orange oil. So not only is it going to smell incredible, but because of the sea salt in here, I think it might give um, a really gentle um, like exfoliation to the skin as well. So this will be really nice this summer and actually into going into the fall as well when my skin gets really dry from the weather changing. So I'm really a big fan of that. So yeah, I think that looks like everything that's in my box. I don't know why I always insist in checking the bottom of the packing peanuts just in case they snuck a product in there, but they never do, which is really sad. If anyone who is at Lush watching, it would be really fun if you guys snuck like a secret product in there. That would be really fun. But anyways, yeah, that's the end of the Lush unboxing for August 2023. My favorite part of item in the box, I think, is the World Peace Bath Bomb. Just because I've never tried it before and the scent is just so interesting and so complex. I'm a big fan of it. And then I think my least favorite product in here is probably going to be the maybe the dirty body scrub only because I know Mr. is probably going to steal it from me or at least use most of it in the shower. So yeah, but honestly, other than that, I can't really pick a least favorite. So that means that's the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please let me know in the comment section by telling me which of these products in your, is your favorite and least favorite. Like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.